if you desire good or betterment for them, then repent on their behalf. Allah the Almighty has made them a resource for you and has made you a provision for them. If you are righteous, then you should help each other on the pretext of taqwa, righteousness and also piety. Make them aware of their bad deeds, inform them of their erroneous bad actions and also their enjoyments which they enjoy if you are not hypocritical. I swear they do not fulfill the rights due to the state. So he says that admonishing is definitely correct and is necessary and permissible that the truth should be stated before the king. He says that I swear by Allah their hearts are harder than mountains. They never cry before Allah. It is clear from these actions that they have angered Allah and they have adopted misguidance. So they take poison themselves and take their subjects along with them. So there are two aspects of this self-destruction. O oh, scholars, are there any who will make them aware of the consequences of their actions? Because these people have lost their religion, running after their impious desires. In every circumstances, they have become narrow-sighted. In other words, they have become narrow-sighted. Their glances have become crooked and one-eyed. He continues that, according to me, they are actually completely blind. I do not say that you should disobey them and instead fight them. The Promised Messiah salam, has said explicitly that I do not say that you should leave obeying them and start fighting them. That is, speak the truth, but war is not permissible. There is prayer. They have been admonished towards prayer by the Promised Messiah, peace be upon him, foremost, and also towards repentance. So the Promised Messiah, peace be upon him, says, I do not say you should disobey them and start fighting them. In fact, pray to God for their betterment. So they desist from acting wrongly. Do not expect them to reconcile and reform those issues which the Dajjal or the Antichrist has ruined or after so much destruction and anxiety that they will reform the condition of the nation. You are aware that there are men specifically ordained for different tasks. How is it possible that he who is dead brings others to life or that the misguided will guide others? Is this possible? Then how can you expect this from them? We do not expect that they will reform until death touches them and wakes them up. Indeed, we have been instructed to go on advising and admonishing. We have been instructed to counsel. This is what we continue to do. So the Promised Messiah salam, continues, The quality of understanding and the principles of running a country are unknown to them. They desire to learn the cunning ways of the non-Muslims and their Christian neighbors. But subtle lies and schemes to save themselves, they were unable to imitate. So they are like the chicken who desired to become a vulture. The Promised Messiah salam, says that in comparison to the Christians, whatever knowledge they received regarding taqwa, they turned away from it, and like their opponents could not even learn the scheming ways and deception properly. Regarding Muslim kings, Allah the Almighty has promised that until they become righteous, He will not help them. Allah so desires that Christians are successful in their ploys because the believers have angered them. The Promised Messiah salam, states that do you believe that you will be able to safeguard the limits set by Islam from the disbelievers? Do you believe they are in the protection of Islam? SubhanAllah, glory be to Allah. This is a huge mistake. In fact, through their innovations, they try to uproot the faith. It is in your power to think well of them and to prove they have no link with sins. But what signs will you present in order to make this claim? Do you think they are the custodians of Harafain, Sharafain, the two sacred sites, Mecca and Medina? In fact, the Haram, the Kaaba is protecting them. them because they claim to love Allah and the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. That is, it is their claim that they love Islam and the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. This is why they are not safeguarding the Mecca and Medina. In fact, they safeguard them. And if they do not repent truly, 
then the punishment is at hand. So is there any among you who will warn of the terrible days? Do you not see that Islam has become engrossed so long in this era? And like constant rain, rife is breaking out. And like prey, the armies of the enemies are at hand to capture Islam. Now nothing is left to make the